right, so we're here at the start of the trail to the seven sacred uh, sacred pools. One thing you should know, the trail is actually called Soldier Road uh, Trail, and that's the trail that's gonna eventually take you to the seven sacred pools. Also, the parking lot is kind of small, as you can see. It can only fit maybe 14 to 20 cars. So you gotta look out for that. There is a gate down here, which online it did say that this hope opens at eight o'clock. So even if you try to come here for sunrise, you probably cannot get in until eight in the morning. So Soldier Pass, that's the trail that we are looking for. And then if we can see where the seven sacred pools is, um, no idea, we'll find it. We'll figure it out. Let's just start walking. Stephanie, the amazingly great climber in action. It's because of her poor little legs. She can't climb here, honey. Let me help you. Thank you. That's what I was waiting for. So we just we just hit a dead end. Uh, the problem that I've also heard online is that you really have to pay attention because the trail for this hike is not super obvious like some other ones might be. We totally missed this little area right here. And we went over here to the right to the abyss. But uh, this is where the actual trail was. And this is about the third time that we had to stop, look both directions and really see where the hell to go next. Again, we passed another sign and nowhere will it say seven sacred pools. Nowhere. Oh wow, so I think right here, check this out. Look at this. Holy crap. I think so. Holy sh Look at this. As you can see down there, somebody's hat, somebody's hat fell into the abyss. There is no way of going down there. And good luck getting rescued from here. Look at this. It looks like, what it looks like is all the stone just collapsed. Mm -hmm. I think it was, as you can see, it was really hollow. There was maybe like passages inside this cave and it all just collapsed over the years. This looks crazy though. So this this hole in front of us called the Devil's Kitchen sinkhole it was created by the collapse of a gigantic underground cavern in the red wall limestone. So I actually guessed it correctly. God dang, I'm smart. All right, Soldier's Pass up here. So basically, you just gotta follow Soldier's Pass to the uh, to the pools. I hope they're not dry. Oh yeah, we'll see. I feel like they won't be because we've had rain. Depends this is the perfect the time you come yeah the pools could be dry so just keep that in mind well i don't think they're going to be dry because this is the perfect time for flash floods for monsoons in arizona rain comes out of nowhere uh it actually rained a little yesterday here in sedona this is the perfect time for flash floods to just come roaring down the road so that's something that you have to be very careful of anywhere in, in arizona basically as you can see the clouds are a little rainy i don't know if it's gonna rain yet it might be raining somewhere else and you don't even notice it that's when the flash floods would come out of nowhere it doesn't have to rain where you're at for you to get swept up by a flash flood it can rain miles and miles and miles down the road so after about maybe like 30 minutes we made it to the seven sacred pools i'm just kidding that's not it but we have made it to the sign that says seven sacred pools and actually i think that's the seven sacred pools all right let's count them guys one two <laughs> is this really it is this really the seven sacred pool? I think Stephanie was right. I think they're dried up. Oh. Whenever you think you're not in the right spot, go a few more feet and look down. Okay, so here, here they are. These are the seven sacred pools. I can only see, oh no, there's one, two, three, four, five, and then probably these two, seven. <laughs> there you go, we can go home now. Yes, so the hike is easy, but I am questioning, as you can see, you got a beautiful view of the surrounding mountains in the background. I am questioning though, if this hike is actually worth putting on the list as a must-do hike in Sedona. I don't know. 
So the soldier's pass continues. It goes to Brin's Mesa and some other hiking spots up here. This is something that we will not do for a lack of time. So that was a really short hike. We came back, parking lot is up ahead. Um, if you want like a 30, 40 minute hike, definitely do um, Seven Sacred Poles and the uh, Soldier's Pass Trail. But we're gonna go stop at a gas station, get some more water and head back to Phoenix. Woohoo, so down I think we're done with you for at least a while. At least a while. <laughs> at least a while. So just uh, look out for the new ultimate guide of Sedona video, which we're gonna be working on soon. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Whether you visit Sedona for its gorgeous visuals, impressive hikes and adventures, delicious food with the family, or your own spiritual journey, there is plenty to see, do, and explore. Welcome back to Destination Hamzik as we take a look at some of the best things you should do on your next visit to this popular retreat, the Red Rock, Sedona, Arizona.